everybody i'm coming at you today with a shop my stash video um this is what i'm going to be using for the next couple of weeks for the last couple of weeks um i was just in such a no makeup mood that it was just a hot mess but we're going to go ahead and get started i'm going to be using the smashbox photo finish primer um and this is like a deluxe size so I'm glad to be able to try that out and also I'm going to be using the NYX first base primer spray don't know exactly what that's supposed to do for my face other than moisturize it but I'm going to go ahead and use it and see how I like it um, as well as um, for setting spray I'll be using the NYX um, matte finish um, spray Um, I'll also be using to like wet my brushes or even spray my face with the Mario Badescu facial spray with the rose water. I really like this. This is like a new bottle. Um, so the foundation that I'm going to be using is my um, Avon True Color Flawless Liquid Foundation. I've been really liking this for the past few weeks. So I'm going to go ahead and keep using it. And this one is in the color Nutmeg. If I don't break it, I'll be able to use it. For setting powders, I'm going to be using the um, Sacha Buttercup powder. As well as this lovely gift my sister gave me. The um, Laura Mercier um, translucent powder. And... It's in the color medium deep. So sometimes I have to be careful about how much I use because I don't want to come off looking too red. Because this is what that looks like. So I have to be careful of how much I use. My concealer, I'm going to be sticking with the um, infamous Tarte. And their shape tape um, concealer as well as I'm gonna um, use a color corrector which is the LA girl pro conceal in the um, orange uh, I think that's gonna be it for uh, my face uh, I'm gonna also try I'll take that back I'm gonna also try the it the bye bye um, pores press powder and this is in the color translucent so I will show you what that looks like the bottom comes a sponge that I'm not going to use and then the powder flips down and this is what the color looks like so that is that my poor lips are so chapped I swear Next, I'm going to go for my eyes and I'm going to be using the Brow Gal um, Eyebrow Pencil. And this is what that looks like. So it has the spoolie on the end and it has the pencil on the other end and the cap has a sharpener. I'm also going to be using the Brow Gal Eyebrow Gel. And sometimes I am going to be using the Brow Gal Convertible Brow. And it's, um, let's show that. And it is like different colors of um, brown powder on the inside. And the one I like is this one in the middle. Okay, so that is that. And, um... As far as like eyeshadow base or eyeshadow primer, I'll be using the Ruby Kisses Eyeshadow Magic Primer. And that's what that, I just want to finish this. It's not bad, but it, it just is what it is. Um, and I just want to finish it because I want to use, um, and maybe some days I will also use my um, Avon primer. But I just want to get rid, not rid of, I just want to finish up the Ruby Kisses one um 
Next um, is for face color. I have been using this blush nonstop and I feel like I'm going to hit pan soon on it and it's going to be gone. But it's the NYX blush in Espresso. And that is what that looks like. As you see, I've been really using it. Um, at the moment, I don't know that I'm going to be using any other blush. But as far as um, a highlight, I'm going to use my um, L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glow Nude Highlighter Palette that I picked up a couple of weeks ago. I really like this. I also use it for my eyes like in a corner color. And this palette is the 750 Sun Kiss Palette. So that is that for like face color. Oh, and here is the um, the Avon eye primer. Mine's is in the color. Oh my God, it's, it's in warm beige. That's what that looks like. I think I got this one from eBay because they had gotten rid of um, the warmer color, but I think they came back out with another one. So kudos for Avon. Um, and I'm um, sticking with eyes. All of my palettes are going to be the L'Oreal. L'Oreal are going to be the little rock palettes. I'm going to use all of them that I have, or I'm going to just give myself options of all of them that I have. Um, because sometimes I don't find a color in one, but I want to stick with the same brand of eyeshadow. So I'm going to be using the original one, which everybody on earth knows what that looks like. And I was late to the game in getting this. So that's why it's not so well used, but it's going to be well used because I'm going to leave it out for a couple of weeks. I've been doing better with doing my makeup in the morning, so it's going to get used. And then the second one with the cool colors. Going to dig into that. And then the third one with a lot of beautiful warm colors. And those are all the... Um, originals and then I only have I'm missing one of the um, megas but I'm going to be using the mega pro 2 which was a favorite for me and I am going to be using the mega pro 3 which kind of reminds me of the pro 3 but I kind of look, and all the colors don't exactly match, but some of them are, are pretty close. So this is one of my favorite Lorac palettes too. And I'm going to be using my newbie palette, which is the Mega Pro 4. Which looks like that. And I still have this thing. Is that glitter on my face or something? Anyway. When I saw this one online, I did not like it because I thought it was a bunch of colors that I can't use. But in person, this thing is amazing. And I can find a use for the majority of um, these colors. Like there's some I'm not going to use. Like this one called Cotton, which is a very, very, very light blue color. I don't think I'm going to dig into that at all. But this color right next to it, Flamingo, I'm thinking of a look for that right now. So those are the eyeshadow palettes. I'm not using any other eyeshadow palettes. Um, as far as lips, I'm not going to pick anything. It's just going to be a toss up. It probably is going to be either a MAC lipstick like Freckle Tone, which is a neutral, or Velvet Teddy, which is a um, darker neutral matte. Or it's going to be some ColourPop, um, uh, you know, the liquid lipsticks. Or the um, Wet n Wild liquid lipsticks. I'm, I'm feeling like I'm just going to be in neutral mode. This is my favorite one from Wet n Wild. And it is Give Me Mocha. That is what the color looks like. I use um, a chestnut pencil. And it looks really good. It doesn't look overly pink. And then one of my favorite um, color pop is beeper it kind of looks like that one from um but and wow but this is what beeper looks like and let's put it next to that wet and wild and see what that um the wet and wild is a little more um i would say orangey looking than the color pop 
So those are definitely going to be in rotation. I'm sorry for biting my lips. I'm, it's just a habit. My lips are doing so bad. Um, but I think that that is going to be it. Other than, um, I'm, I'll just also, because I'm trying to finish this up, um, this Fix Plus, and I use it to wet brushes. I'll be using, I have to wash it again. I used it today, but my Pure um, Beauty Sponge um, for mascara. I've been using a sample, and I think I'm going to get another sample. I'm going to buy another sample because it, it kind of works best for me. That way I don't feel like I'm wasting mascara. But it's the Roller Lash Mascara from Benefit. I love this. And up under that, I'll be using the Wet n Wild Max Fanatic Cat Eye Mascara, which I have on by itself today. And it just gives me kind of like a natural look to me. I'm still trying to figure out, y'all, how to put on eyelashes. This is not going to work for me. But that is my makeup for the next couple of weeks. And I'm going to use all these hundreds of brushes that I have to clean. Um, I swear I'll clean them before I use them. But thank you guys for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.